Broadway, USA. Sights and sounds left behind for the duration, but never forgotten. The motion picture is seen to that. It follows the soldier to the far reaches of battle. Bright lights, laughter, home for those who thirst for sights and sounds not alien to American eyes and ears. From the first day he's in camp, motion pictures play a varied role in the average soldier's life. Not only is he entertained by them, he's also oriented and trained through the medium of the silver screen. Training films boast a worldwide attendance of 30 million GIs monthly. To date, the Army has produced 708 training films. The industry adds 101 as its nonprofit contribution. Army-operated libraries supply the armed forces with all types of films and equipment for projection of motion pictures. 260 libraries in this country, approximately 60 overseas, booking soaring into astronomical figures. A barometer for gauging the response of the using branches to films designed solely for the military. And there's no denying Johnny Doughboy's interest in the Fighting Men series, a 100% Hollywood product providing grim training lessons. To fully appreciate their popularity is to reveal that five million soldiers monthly attend screenings of the Fighting Men film. These and thousands of additional reels shown and re-shown must necessarily receive careful handling. Inspection and repair of films and machines occupies soldier technicians skilled at this type of work. Equipment that gives life to precious celluloids, such as the Why We Fight orientation films fashioned by Hollywood trained craftsmen. Worldwide army release alone requires 225 prints per subject. Dramatic to the extent of arousing those who must meet the common enemy. This series goes a long way toward familiarizing our soldiers and the nation with the fitness and ruthlessness of the foe. Britain and Russia display wide interest in these and other United States Army films. Foreign versions, too. 275 training films for Spanish-speaking good neighbors, as well as 212 translations for Portuguese-speaking troops. 30 subjects over a brief period for friendly French troops. We've translated 177 films for the Chinese army, putting strange words into G.I. Joe's mouth. In our army, entertainment shorts mean G.I. movies and screen magazines. Overall total, 320 prints per release. Behind the scenes are the soldier producers, writers, directors, cameramen, editors drawn from Hollywood to do a job for the military. Including all armed forces, the industry service roster has reached 29,652. However, as vital as anything the film people are contributing is the role they're playing in the maintenance of morale among the rank and file of our embattled legions. Those assigned the terrific task of storming the beaches of the seven seas are carrying out their assignments with decisive fury. But apart from the actual fighting, they have definite cravings. Letters from home and entertainment motion pictures. Hollywood features that will provide brief respite from the nerve-shattering thunder of battle. The films are greeted like long-lost friends. Weary but eager warriors converge on their little theater as the word races through camp. A brief lull means that some of the men can see the new show while others keep up the jungle watch. The names of these island battlegrounds are familiar to all who follow the war in the Pacific. Yet how many know that men starve for entertainment are carving their own makeshift theaters out of a tangled wilderness? These scenes and all that follow were photographed by combat camera crews. This is the real McCoy, spot coverage that breathes realism into all that has been written about the average GI and his craving for motion pictures. Wire reels for seats coconut logs for seats in a palm grove selected for added atmosphere. They even line up all the empty gas barrels in sight. Anything that can be sat on. Ingenuity born of necessity. And their arrangement makes good sense, right up to the placement of the projection booth. Sometimes rear echelons can go in for fancier and more permanent structures. This is the best in the area. 
But fancy or otherwise, the same results are produced. Countless thousands of war miles, millions of troops, heterogeneous in other respects, yet maintaining a mutual interest in screen entertainment. For those resting behind the lines while recovering from battle wounds, there is added interest and appeal in the motion picture. Time passes easier and more quickly. Imaginations are stimulated and the scars of combat minimized for the moment. Waiting for the show. The early birds catch the best vantage points. Lend lease. Troops of allied nations find the welcome mat wherever films are unreal for American doughboys. A special treat tonight for New Zealanders, fighting side by side with the Yank in wet and heated jungle. is no barrier, the show must go on. Shielded by jungle ponchos and other coverings, our troops sit through the pouring tropical rainstorm, and it would be bad for the operator were he to stop the show. Army nurses at an undisclosed fighting front. A notice is posted. Enough said, the woman's the same in the army or out. It's the same story each time operations permit time out for relaxation. One of the bigger problems is getting sufficient films to the right places at the right time. 1,500 and more shows a night with a five and a half million weekly attendance is big time exhibition. Naturally, every soldier wants to see a brand new film, something he can write home about like a world premiere on an airplane mounted screen. But demand and supply can't always coincide. Although the Army's doing everything possible within tactical limitations to rush the best in screen entertainment to its men wherever they may be stationed. Included are screenings for troops and convoys on every ocean and for patients aboard hospital ships. By supplying the films, the motion picture industry is creating goodwill that could not be bought at any price. There should be ample reward in merely studying the scenes that are to follow. Excerpts from five typical features already shipped overseas will help to illustrate the joy and appreciation of servicemen and women the world over. <laughs>